Hello, and welcome back to your fifth Street Craps tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercard Online. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. It keeps me motivated. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, add some more functionality to our program here. Um, first thing I want to do is go ahead and add a uh, variable that represents a number for now. So point number and I'll explain what this does is shortly. We're going to set it to zero. Um, let's come down and in the previous one we did if roll total dice is equal equal to seven do something. Um, let's go ahead and change this to let's take this all out here. Let's go ahead and change this to uh, if point number is equal equal to zero, we want to do something. And like I said, I'll explain to you a second what a point number is. And then we're going to do if roll, square brackets, in total dice is in square brackets, uh, not square, uh, square, square brackets, put it in the list 7 and 11. So if our roll is either 7 or 11, do something. And we're going to say print u1. All right, so on your first roll, if the shooter rolls a 7 or 11, they win. So that's why we put this here. All right. Then we're going to do um, an elif. And we're going to take this number. Or we'll just take this and copy this here so I don't have to type it. Uh, then we're going to come down and do... Um, Change this to 2, 3, and 12. So now if the user on their first roll rolls a 2, or 3, or 12 on their first roll, they lose. So we'll do print, you lose. All right. We also want to set, which I forgot to do, is set run to false, and set run equal to false. All right. If you remember up here, we had run set to true. So when the while while the while loop is set to true, it will continue to run. But we're going to set the false down here to uh, break out of the complete while loop and stop the program. All right. Um, and then we're going to need an else statement, and this else statement is going to be our point number. So we're going to say else. And we're going to do point numbers equal to uh, this right here to our total dice. And what the point number does is if you don't roll a 7, 11, or a 2, a 3, or a 12, uh, you set a point number. All right. So, for example, say we rolled a 5. Now, 5 is our point number. On my next roll, I should roll. Um, I should try to roll a 5, not a 7, all right? So if I roll a 5, I win. If I roll a 7, I lose, all right? So that's how it works. So I got I have to roll the point number before I roll a 7, all right? So that's how it works. So um, down here we're going to need an elif statement, and we're going to need a point number, and it's equal to roll total dice. Uh, it's equal equal sorry and so on so after if you notice here we set the point number to zero um, if we come down here and we roll a point number that's going to change zero all right to whatever the point number is so it's not going to run this it's going to come down and run this if my point number is um, equal to the roll then I win uh, if not, I lose. So we'll do print you win. And then we're going to set run equal to false. All right. And then we'll come over and do else. No, we're not going to do else. We're going to do elif. Elif uh, point number is equal equal to seven. We're going to print you lose and run is equal to false. 
All right. Um, then we'll keep change. And it all looks good. All right. Well, let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. I'm going to clear my screen and. Oops. Let me kill this. Clear my screen. Python main.py. And we're going to bet 100 for shoot. Rolled 11. You won. If you remember correctly, up here, uh, not up there. Right here, if you roll a 7 or 11 on your first try, you win. So I won. Sweet. All right, let's try this again to make sure it's working. Uh, 104. Shoot. I rolled a 9, so I say shoot again. I rolled a 6, so I shoot again. I rolled a 10, so I shoot again. I rolled a 6. If you remember, my point number is 9. All right, so I shoot again. I roll the three, shoot again, I roll the seven, I should lose. But I didn't. So let's figure out why I didn't lose. Alright. My guess is probably going to be we need to flip flop these here. Well, that might not be our issue, but we'll try it. I'm just looking at this real quick just to see if I see anything that's weird, but I don't. Of course I don't. So let's try this again. Shoot. I got a 10, so our point number's 10. Shoot. I got a 7, I should lose. I should lose again. Oh, I see what I did wrong. This should be... That's what's going on here. Alright. Mm. Just kill that. Run it again. Uh, clear my screen so you guys can see it. Four. Shoot. You won. Of course. A five. Alright, so five is our new uh, point number. Shoot. Seven. You lose. Alright, that's how it works. That's That was what I was missing. So, do you guys see what happened here? Um, I had point number here is equal, equal to seven. Uh, we didn't need point number. We needed roll. We need to know what the dice was actually rolled because we're actually doing that here where point number and dice were rolled. I just should have had roll and total dice. So there you go. Um, now we got the complete uh, concept of the game. It's running like it should. Um, the rules of the game running. Now in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and take the bets so you guys can uh, keep track of if you're winning money or losing money. Um, other than that, there's really not much more to it. Uh, I don't even know if we'll do the next video. Allow you guys to add to it. How about that? Let's do it that way. You guys add to it and let me know what you did to the game and, uh, share it with me. So, uh, go ahead and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. And I'll see you in the next tutorial series.